Shalom. Kahala Yamla Yahava Bashim Yahusha Bashim Rakakatash. Double down to the other supposed of written sound of the sound dancer is in the sense of Yahim doing the work of Yahava Bashim Yahusha Bashim Rakakatash. In spirit and true sincerity. Shalom. Just when you start to think in mind, it might not get worse, but it does eventually. Alright? It eventually does. Madness, alright. So you can see from this clip, uh, really, uh, this video from Mars uh, from ITR. Okay, Israelites tried and refined. Okay, uh, I streamed about the 16 hours ago. Alright, it says that Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 68. Eh? Okay, let's just go to this clip. Alright, it says, uh, <coughs> the Romans chapter 28, verse uh, 68, expired breakdowns. Alright. Yeah. What more can you see? Let's get, let's get some scriptures in close off. So all of this is, it has already been prophesied of that will, that, uh, that it will happen. Alright. There are going to be those that are uh, at the end, the righteous men of the Lord who are going to, who are going to keep the faith in Yahweh Shemiah until the end. Uh, there are going to be those that are going to be weeping, okay, concerning those who, there are going to be those who, uh, concerning faith, they are going to end up weeping because of them, because they were, they were once among the righteous, but now, they, they would have uh, been sifted by Yahabash Mosha. They would have failed the test, and they, they will they would have been being revealed for what kind of lousy uh, pieces of nothing that that they are. So Revelation chapter twenty two and eleven says, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still." And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is lowly, and he that is holy, let him let him be holy still. Uh, if you if, if if you truly have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem on you, be righteous. Hold on 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 onto the righteous uh, path. Keep that faith in your help, Hashem because we are now at the end. Romans 13, our salvation is way nearer than what we have believed. Like, how can you possibly say, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, it's, it's in, a, in a, an expired uh, breakdown. Uh, expired. Let's get this in Timothy. There's a second now, um, second Timothy, <coughs> chapter three, and now verse sixteen. All right, because because the counsel of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, the Scripture says in Proverbs, stand if sure. All right. It standeth sure. All right, the Most High declared the end from the beginning. So, you can't say that. <laughs> anyway, it's a Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man. I, that the man of the Mosa may be perfect, I, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And you guys at the ITR, I, you are not the man of the Mosa, Yahweh Mosa.
this is not part of the good works all right this is not part of the good works saying that Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28 verse 64 uh, verse 68 is an expired is, is part of the the, uh, the expired breakdowns mischievous madness Uh, madness at its best and it's only going to get worse and worse uh, it is only just going to have it's just going to get worse because the word of Yahweh Hashem Yashar daily as we uh, getting more closer and closer unto the return of our Lord and Savior, judgment return now uh, as judgment is about to be executed on a large scale. Yes, it has been revealed who are these ones that the word of Yahweh has been profitable unto them, and it is very clear to see that the word has not been profitable unto you, okay, unto ITR. And those of you who have the same uh, like mindset who are following you guys, all right. This is the Second Timothy chapter chapter three and uh, sixteen. I guess again it says, all Scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and your new hate reproof, all right. For correction, you don't want to take correction. For instruction in righteousness. All right. In instruction in righteousness, and you rejected all of that, and a lot of uh, you guys out there, you know, you don't even qualify to be called Israelites, by the way, because you you still have that old man lingering, and you still promoting that old man, that old wicked old self. You still promoting that goddamn. All right. Unprofitable old ways, you still attach to it because you still love this fucking world. You still don't want to see the kingdom being established according to the specific heart. <coughs> so, like, according to the specific okay commandments of Yahweh by the order which he has chosen through men, through specific men and beginning with the elder apostles on down of great Musta. you don't want to take correction instruction is grievous unto you uh, scripture says that says what correction is it is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way let's get this in order let's go to Hosea Uh, this is the book of uh, Hosea, <coughs> chapter 4. Uh, this is Hosea, chapter 4. And now uh, verse 4 says, says, Let no man strive, nor reprove another. Yeah. Because why? Because this word of Yahweh has not been profitable unto you. You hate rebuke. Proverbs 21. Is it 21 and 1? It has often reproved. Let's get that in Proverbs. All right, um, Proverbs <coughs> chapter 29. Okay. Proverbs chapter 29 and 1 says, He does, he being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. All right, sealing you, 
you're having what your conscience being silver of a hot iron before the civil deceivableness as it says in, in, in Thessalonians that you should believe lies here it is you know you're an Israelite a lot of you guys out there you know that you're Israelites uh, but the Mosai surely bit by bit step by step is removing uh, he is removing the true fire from you he is withdrawing himself from you all oh, you wicked pretenders out there Yahabba Shemashai that's what he has been doing uh, just like so he was among the prophets but he was never a prophet have he should have he been a prophet guess what he would have never came against David and, and have done all these things which he, he had done the spirit of Yahabba Shemashai Yahab would have not removed this righteous spirit uh, 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 a righteous spirit from, from soul and uh, and, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and imparted on him uh, a wicked spirit so everything is all playing itself out realities is, is, it, is, it is all becoming more clearer and clearer each and every single day each and every single, single day Proverbs chapter 29 and 1 says he that being often he that being, of, being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy that's what's about to befall all the scoffers Hosea 4 and 4 again they a lot of you guys you still want these the smooth things all right deceit being prophesied unto you but that is going to lead all of you to your own destruction to your own own demise but the true righteous watchmen the true only righteous uh, watchmen they're going to be washing uh, their hands okay off the blood of the wicked two-thirds that's what the prophets of all have been known for speaking the truth and being hated from the for, for the truth's sake Hosea chapter 4 and forces says yet let no man strive nor reprove another for there are people as they that strive with the priest okay because there's no other all right what the scripture says in hebrew says what uh, re reprove not an elder <sighs> this is what happens when you end up being in captivity for way too long all right this is what happens this is what happens when there's no order let me just keep reading it says I was there for another six is my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing that has forgotten the law of thy power I will also for forget thy children and these same degenerate children we see them today and what, ha what happens when the Musa forgets you when he casts you before his sight you're gonna be destroyed guaranteed you are gonna be destroyed okay, that is a guarantee a guaranteed effect that's what's gonna happen this is 2nd Peter this is what the scripture was looking for before I went to 2nd uh, to Timothy uh, 3 and uh, 3 and 16 this is 2nd Peter chapter 2 and uh, Second Tim, Second Timothy chapter chapter so like Second Peter's chapter chapter one and verse nineteen says we also have a more sure word of prophecy the one to ye dwell that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until that the day dawn and the day so like Second Second Peter's chapter one verse nineteen we 
I have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and that day is going to dawn as when it's of Revelation 22, of what? Yahweh shall cut every man's reward. Good unto those who have been faithful who kept that faith, and evil unto those who disobeyed. Uh, those wicked awful servants who said, My, my Lord, delay uh, his coming. And judgment unto the rest of these nations. Uh, it says, And they, it's like, and they, uh, star, arise in your hearts. Uh, it says, knowing this first, no, no prophecy of the scripture is of any private input, uh, interpretation. And that's what ITI is doing. So you know what this this this, this prophecy over here, this breakdown is is uh is outdated. What, what do you mean is outdated? There's no such thing. Romans fifteen. Let's get this in Romans fifteen. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, Romans chapter 15 and 4 says, For whatsoever things were written before of our time, they were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now, uh, let's get this in Deuteronomy. Let's go to this scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 28. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it's a Deuteronomy chapter 28. So I get the Roman chapter 20 verse 6 says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way of wherefore I speak unto thee, that shall sheet no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, no, no man shall buy you, no man at all, but except who your house shall. Uh, Matthew 1 and 21, Yahweh Shai, he shall save his people from their sins. He laid, he laid down the prize and he's coming back to redeem us upon his second return. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. He's going to be doing the separation between the sheep and the goats. Uh, and the sifting process is happening as we speak right now through these different epistles. It is all happening. All uh, right. It is all for an appointed time, this vision, and it's all coming, <laughs> it is all coming together. It is all of this was written for our learning. All right, this, 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 that here, read that in Romans 15. All things were written for what, for our learning, it's all prophecy we learn, all right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15, but it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which are commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What this was all written for our forward learning, so that we learn a lesson. Okay. A harsh lesson. This is what happens. You disobey. This is what's going to befall you in all these curses, man. We're still under these curses. All right. We're still under these curses. We're still under these curses. Being scattered among these nations. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. We're still scattered. Oh, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, where the majority of you residing right now, you are not in the land which our our power Yahweh Masha has granted and has been has has given unto us. Our, as a holy people, we are not in the, in the holy land. The current location where we are residing is a misfit. We're still scattered 
and as all this has been written for our learning the lesson is what Exodus 20 all of this was written for our learning alright so Exodus chapter 20 inside of verse 1 says and the most I speak all these words saying I am the Lord thy power who has brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of, out, of, out of the house of bondage thou shalt have no other gods before me and thou shalt not um, make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of, of anything that is uh, in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth now oh, I says thou shalt not bow th thyself to them nor serve them for I am the Lord I am a jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation to them that hate me and showing mercy unto unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments oh, I, and, and first of all these thousands okay that message be, that it has been guaranteed and ordained by our Bashmah they're going to receive all right mercy is the 144 the sevens of prophets it has a guaranteed fact and the rest of those who keep the commandments all right the rest of the elect these are the ones that hey ultimately as a whole the Yahabashimah will show his mercy unto unto them because they're gonna call their sins into mind because all of this was written for our for our learning there's logic behind what we finding ourselves here we went astray we went astray it's that Deuteronomy chapter 13 1 verse 1 says and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse And all the blessings that never came into, into fruition. Oh, oh, we, we, we are about to receive the full blessings. Uh, but the curses, man, they came in hard. And we're still feeling, feeling, okay, the last bit of these curses, man. And that's why we're calling all these things into mind. It says, the Rome chapter 13, 1 says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon you. The blessing and the curse which I have said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all nations, whither the Lord thy power have driven thee. Alright. And it shall come to pass, shall I, and it shall and it shall return shall I, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh Shai, and shall obey his voice according to all that I have commanded thee this day thou and thy children and all that with all thine heart and with all thy soul it says then all right verse 3 that then the Lord thy power will, will turn that captivity and have compassion upon thee and will turn so like and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy power have scattered thee all right Says here, and he will return and gather, all right, the Israelite, the Israelites, from among all the nations. Okay, where we've been scattered among them. All the nations, we will we will be redeemed from among them. It says if any, verse four. If any of them be driven out unto the outermost parts of heaven from thence for with the Lord thy power uh, uh, thy God gather thee and from hence will he fetch thee all right that goes to show you they're going to be those okay apart where there's going to be a, a huge concentration of Israelites being in a specific places all right it says that in Jeremiah the children of Judah and the children of Israel were all pressed together 
the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, but there are going to be those of you of your lineage of the holy seed of the nation of Asherah, all of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, of Israel who are going to be scattered elsewhere. Elsewhere. So when you read the rummage of the 21st, 68, all right, with ships, all right, it's going to show you that Yahweh Hashem Yahshim, all right, he's a man of his word, all right. He doesn't say something and and, and later on he says, you know what, I take these words back. No, all right, doesn't happen. Numbers twenty three. The Lord does not change, man. All right. You better be rest assured. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And the rest of these scriptures see these bloody morons are saying they have expired. They're the ones that. The, they're the ones that the spirit of Yahweh has been yanked from them. All right. Their time, just like so, of them being among the prophets, it has expired. Not the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshah. All praises be unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshah, Hashem Rakakatash. The Quran and the other apostles, the goodness of the Son, the answer to the decision, the sincere Akim, the true sincere believers in Yahweh Hashem Yahshah, Rakakatash, Prakatam, Shalom.